Hello everyone, I'm Ron Berger. Welcome to the Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology. This is the Special Report section, where I take a topic or person or situation that is astrologically newsworthy and do an in-depth analysis. This will be a special predictive report on the mars K2 conjunction in sidereal Capricorn in 2018, and what sort of events to expect according to your Vedic Astrology birth chart. The mars K2 combination becomes a dominant astrology pattern for much of 2018. Mars entered sidereal Capricorn on May 2nd. Normally, it takes Mars about six weeks to transit through a sign, but this year, due to going through a retrograde period, Mars will remain in Capricorn for six months until November 5th. K2 entered Capricorn back in September 2017. K2 spends 18 months in a sign, so it will be there for the entirety of the Mars transit. Mars, the planet of energy and action, is considered exalted in Capricorn, the sign of practical realization. It's a great combination for accomplishing one's goals, for realizing tangible results. But K2, being a significator of the past, represents the unseen, the non-manifest plane of existence. K2 is a spiritual indicator but that simultaneously stands for impermanence and dissolution on the material plane. Thus, K2 creates a sort of short circuit to the tangible results of the Mars and Capricorn energy pattern. Also, K2, like Mars, has a fiery quality. The two together are double fire, in other words, rather volatile. As Mars progresses in Capricorn, it gets closer and closer to K2, goes past it a few degrees, and then, starting on June 26th, Mars begins a retrograde period. Retrograde planets are closer to the Earth than usual, therefore stronger than usual, since Mars is the planet of violence and destruction, having it extra strong is rather problematic. Also, while retrograde, the planet of action and force is being held back in the zodiac, creating a kind of pressure cooker type energy, which can be quite dangerous when it blows. As it turns out, Mars and K2 are going to be in close contact for an, an extended period of time this year. Their close proximity to each other increases the potential for volatile, out-of-control type of events. This combination will be the dominant astrological pattern during the summer of 2018. So what sort of effects, what kind of events can we expect from this astrological arrangement? Astrology is based on patterns in the zodiac, correlated with events here on Earth. But sometimes we get a pattern that happens rarely, meaning that we can't come up with much correlation. That's the case with retrograde Mars conjunct K2 for an extended period of time. In other words, this is an unusual situation. By pairing up the significations of these two astrological factors, we can get some ideas. Obviously, some of these pairings of meanings are worrisome. The Mars retrograde signification of pressure cooker effects with K2's signification of chaos doesn't sound very nice, does it? Also, notice retrograde Mars indicates obstructed progress, and K2 is past karma, suggesting difficulties as a payment for past karma. Now, I want to say something here. Admittedly, a lot of this sounds pretty negative, but truly, I am not intending to scare anyone or bum you out. 
The idea with astrology is to look into the future, see what is coming, and get ready for it. Forewarned is forearmed. Stay alert to what is happening, and be ready to take appropriate remedial action. Okay, now I'll go through the zodiac and describe what to expect for each rising sign chart. If you are new to this video blog, be advised that I am using the sidereal zodiac, the one you can see with your naked eyes if you look up at the night sky. If you are thinking of your Western astrology chart, which uses the tropical zodiac, you have to subtract 24 degrees in order to get to the sidereal positions. All right, if you are Aries rising, the Mars K2 combination affects your 10th house, the house of actions in the world, career, profession, reputation, community. Mars's transit gives energy to your career house for professional actions, encouraging you to take risks. But K2's idealism leads to dissatisfaction with the results. K2 also brings unexpected changes to this part of your life. When Mars is retrograde this summer, the situation becomes really dodgy. Best to keep a low profile and wait it out until the energy pattern is more reliable later in the year. For Taurus rising people, Mars and K2 are transiting in your ninth house the house of beliefs, meritorious deeds, good fortune, long-distance travel, father and guru, and the future. K2's transit here compels you to reevaluate your agenda for the future. Mars makes you want to act on it now. But be careful, K2 plus Mars can produce unexpected outcomes. This is especially true when Mars is retrograde this summer. Your relationship with your father and or guru becomes unsatisfactory and potentially volatile. If you are taking any post-secondary education classes, progress will be difficult. This would not be a good time to take a journey, especially when Mars is retrograde this summer. If you have Gemini as your rising sign, Mars and K2 are holding forth in your 8th house, the house of big changes, chronic problems, and your partner's wealth. Any dependence you have on other people's money will become less dependable due to K2's transit in this sector of your chart. Your partner's financial situation will likely go through some unexpected changes. Signing any contracts, especially while Mars is retrograde, is not recommended. With Mars, the planet of action in the house of secret actions, you may feel compelled to do something underhanded and thus risk scandal and humiliation. For Cancer rising people, the Mars K2 pattern affects your seventh house. This is the house of one-on-one -on -one relationships, famously the house of marriage. K2 is idealistic, which results in dissatisfaction with the status quo in your relationship. Mars wants action, but be careful. The K2-Mars combination doesn't give the results you are hoping for. This becomes even more problematic when Mars goes retrograde this summer when the pressure cooker energy can cause a major blow-up in your relationship. This sector of the chart also stands for business partnerships and clients, which will be similarly impacted. Mars transiting in the seventh house of success in distant places may encourage you to risk some new endeavor, but with K2 here as well, the outcome will be unsatisfactory. Leo rising charts have Mars and K2 transiting in their sixth house. Since this is the house of health and Mars is the planet of infections and inflammation, this is a particularly troublesome transit for the body. K2 
Ketu is the planet of the unseen world and therefore represents bacteria and viruses. So, best to guard your health. The sixth house is also the house of work and service, in other words, your job. Ketu brings dissatisfaction. Mars demands action. There's a high likelihood that you will leave your job during these months. But with Mars retrograde this summer, you may not find another position right away, so keep that in mind. Mars energizes your sixth house of enemies. Ketu is the past karma, thus an enemy coming to you out of your past. Virgo rising people get Mars and Ketu affecting their th fifth house, the house of romance, creativity, and children. Mars is proactive for fifth house creativity and romance, but Ketu's idealism makes it hard to find someone who fits the bill. If you have a romance going already, then the combination of these two factors can produce a blow-up, especially when Mars is retrograde this summer. Similarly, relations with your child will be stressful, or your child becomes seriously unruly and hard to deal with. If you have a creative project going, count on running into problems when Mars goes retrograde this summer. If you are a Libra rising person, the Mars K2 pattern affects your fourth house, representing your home, domestic activities, assets, and your mother. Mars as the planet of aggression and combat is not welcome on the home front. K2 suggests dissatisfaction with the status quo, which may lead you to give up your home, or else that can happen due to circumstances, especially connected with your past. The relationship with your mother is not going to be going smoothly this summer, and or she may be having problems in her life. And careful with your car. Mars is the planet of machinery. K2 is mysterious in its actions. The fourth house, being your assets, includes your car. This could manifest as a hard-to-diagnose problem with your vehicle. For Scorpio rising people, Mars and K2 transit in your third house, the house of desires, self-efforts, everyday operations, sibling and close relative, neighbors, skills, and talents. The transit of Mars is considered good in this part of the chart since its energy encourages your efforts and initiative. But with K2 here, we can't be too sure of the results, which will likely fall short of your expectations. In any case, when Mars is retrograde this summer, it will definitely be a poor time to initiate anything new in the way of projects, which will quite likely backfire. Relations with close relatives and neighbors will be touch and go. K2's transit in the third house can manifest as a neighbor moving away. Sagittarius rising people have the Mars K2 pattern affecting their second house, the sector of life that includes your material circumstances, personal finances, the family situation, speech, and personal values. Mars as the planet of combat is not welcome in the house of speech, where it leads to harsh speech, argument, and so forth. K2 as a dissolution factor puts stress on the family situation. K2 also makes your personal finances seem less than adequate. The combination of Mars and K2 gives out-of-control impulses, so be wary of the sudden need to spend money. When Mars is retrograde, your efforts to remedy your financial trouble will run into delay and obstacles. For Capricorn rising charts, Mars and K2 are transiting in your ascendant, so you get a front row seat for all the action. Mars energizes you, but also makes you combative. You feel impelled to reply to any challenge, whether real or imagined. K2 signifies sacrifice. Your actions may require 
some sacrifice or else result in a sacrifice. The Mars retrograde period this summer is especially problematic. Your actions get delayed, your desires get obstructed, and it seems everything is an uphill battle. Best to go find a rock to go hide under and wait it out. Mars retrograde in the Ascendant, along with K2, can affect your physical health, so be careful. If you are Aquarius rising, Mars with K2 transits through your 12th house, the house of endings and loss, hidden actions, unknown people, places of separation, subconscious mind, and humanitarian acts. Mars is especially unwelcome here. The planet of attack in the house of subterfuge suggests an attack from a hidden enemy somebody working against you from behind your back. At the very least, Mars causes upset in the subconscious, agitation and anxiety. K2 signifies some sort of sacrifice, and since this is the house of disadvantaged people and humanitarian acts, the implication is that you incur some expense on behalf of someone else. And for Pisces rising charts, the Mars-K2 combination affects your 11th house, where it creates problems in your 11th house relationships, that is, friends and associates. K2 signifies dissatisfaction. Something a friend does disappoints you, or it can go further and someone you know actually drops out of your life. Mars here is usually good since this is one of the Kama houses, in other words, representing desire, specifically your ambitions, your goals, and Mars promotes desires. But when Mars is retrograde this summer, any attempt to accomplish your goals and ambitions gets thwarted. Your gains and accomplishments are also held back or may be unrecognized by others. These descriptions are only generalities. What you actually experience will depend on the layout of your personal birth chart. Where you are in the Vedic astrology planetary period sequence, how the other planets are affecting your chart, and so forth. If you have natal planets in Capricorn or opposite in Cancer, you are much more likely to be experiencing notable events. And now, in closing, my little pitch for donations. If you appreciate what this YouTube channel does for you, please help support it and me by visiting the donation page and making a contribution. Just click on or touch the donation card you see here. Thanks, and until next week.